Full time from Brisbane and it has finished. England won 80-0. There we go. That took me nearly three attempts. And of course the Lionesses kick off their World Cup campaign with a very edgy win, let's just say. A very edgy win uh, against the World Cup debutants Haiti. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get straight into it. My thoughts. You know what? You know what? England played really poor by our standards. We played really bad. Um, but the most important thing is, right? We won. We won the game. That's all that matters. But the thing is, if you look at, we know we can achieve better. We know we can. But the thing is, if we, if we want to win the World Cup. We need to perform better in our next game against Denmark. I mean, maybe against China. China. I don't know. I don't know. Um, simply very disappointing. Um, we weren't at our best. Hey, you know, credit to Haiti, by the way. They were fantastic. Um, they were fantastic. Um, Do you know, to be fair, Haiti, they, Haiti, they, I thought they could have actually um, nearly won, win the game, you know. Um, if they didn't, if they took the chances, they would have won. And to be fair, that's the same. Like I said, like I said on Thursday, for during the full-time reaction I did for the Australia-Ireland um, game, I said Ireland did, just didn't take the chances. Haiti done the exact same thing, like what Ireland did. Played really well. But they just hadn't um, converted their chances in, into the back of the net. Well, well, really, we had the more chances than um, Haiti. Um, but the football that we played was absolutely just pure sluggish. It really was. Um, and I, I, if we were to win the World Cup, we need to we need to learn the lessons of today. We need to convert. We need to score more goals. Um, and if you look at, say, earlier today, obviously, the USA beat Vietnam 3-0. Japan battered Zambia 5-0. Spain 3-0 yesterday. See, I'm, I'm just... I'm just... Do you know what? This World Cup has probably been one of the best so far in, in the women's game. Um, yes, of course. Of course, um, I can't... Of course, England did... We, we did beat Austria in the Euros. However, that was only 1-0. And obviously, England went on all the way to win the whole competition. Um, maybe that could sim, sim, do the similar thing here to, to this World Cup. But however, though, if you look at it... But if you look at... If you look at England, right, the amount of injuries that we've had... Right, obviously, Beth Mead, Lee Williamson and Frank Kirby, right? If Beth Mead and that were still playing now... I think we would have won easily. More comfortable. Um, but yeah, um, I just can't think of any more words really to to um, you know um, describe describe the game. Um, but yeah, we played really bad, honestly. We, I was like. That was war more worse than Spurs. That was worse than Spurs. Spurs. But yeah, um, player of the match. Um, you know what? I'm, you know what? I'm gonna give it to Haiti's keep. You know what? I'm gonna give it to Mary Earps and Haiti's keeper. I've, I don't know her name, but De Mary Earps kept us, kept us, kept a good one 0 advantage. Haiti's keeper. I thought, she, I thought she was brilliant as well. Um, denying obviously England. Um, denying England more goals. Uh, and also the referee again. The referee was spot on again, spot on again. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Please make sure you smash the like, subscribe, get your notifications on, and I'll see you later on for Denmark versus China. Thank you for watching. I love these and Come on, your lionesses.